that our world is in right now with this coronavirus crisis can be really scary and can affect every single one of us. Bachelor star Madison Pruitt was not welcomed after Peter Weber fiasco. Madison Pruitt was chosen by Peter Weber to be his fiancé. When Peter's season came to a close, it was evident that these two were not exactly sure if they should be together and if their relationship would work. After thinking on it for a few days, they ultimately decided to end their relationship. Madison has started to speak out to her fans more about what happened and what their final decision was. There has been a lot of drama that has unfolded since Peter and Madison broke up. She recently was interviewed by Caitlin Bristow on her podcast, Off the Vine, and told her a lot more about their relationship and what went wrong. We took a couple of days, it was a lot of long conversations, a lot of tears, a lot of smiles, a lot of every kind of emotion, a lot of back and forth. But we finally got to a place where we realized with everything that's happened, this isn't necessarily the best foundation to be starting a relationship. She didn't feel that she could trust Peter and never felt welcomed by his friends and family. Dot you want to start a relationship with trust, you want to start a relationship where you feel safe and you feel comfortable and you feel just welcomed by that person, by the people they care about around them and I didn't feel that way. One of these people was Peter's mother, Barb Weber. Madison she never felt welcomed by her and just felt that she didn't want her in her son's life. Although, they didn't work out, Peter still thinks that Barb deserves an apology from Madison on how things went with them. Madison told Bristow, Honestly, if I could back, that's the one thing I wish that I would have just apologized and been apologetic in that moment. I walked off that stage and I've never cried harder in my life. I was so upset. It's the person that I loves mom and family. I wish that I would have been able to process it a little bit faster and just be able to say, you know what? I'm so sorry if there's anything I did that upset you or offended you, made you feel the way that you feel. That was obviously never my intention. That looks like fear, anxiety, um, or maybe you or someone that you know and love has been affected by this coronavirus.